Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Sanibel Hyperstrike women's boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Sanibel Hyperstrike women's boxing gloves. Got mine in the white and blue colorway. 14 ounces. It is a Velcro closure only model. You can get this glove anywhere between 8 and 16 ounces, as well as several different colorways which you can check out on the Sanibel website. The glove is made of a synthetic leather microfiber outside casing with multi-layer foam. Over the knuckle area that has a medium to firm density to it, and I believe the gloves are going to be either made in Pakistan or China. There's a tag on the inside that shows the weight of the glove, but doesn't show uh, where they're actually manufactured. So Pakistan or China is probably my best guess on where these are made. Now this is going to be the very first pair of women's boxing gloves I've tried and am now doing a review on. And to be honest with you, I don't know the difference between a woman's boxing glove or one that's designed for women and a traditional boxing glove. And the reason I say that is that there's nothing feature wise that tells me that this is is a women's boxing glove other than the fact that they called it a women's boxing glove. Now on average, I will say this, on average women typically have smaller hands than men, biologically speaking, right? Um, and that's not to say that all, all women's hands are going to be smaller than men because you might have a, you know, a female out there that has larger hands than some of her male counterparts. Now with that being said, long, you know, longer fingers or maybe thicker hands. Um, so with that being said, on average women typically have smaller hands than men. So maybe the hand compartment size is a little bit more compact. The problem I have with that is they make boxing gloves out there that are, are compact already, that have smaller sizes. I mean, boxing gloves come in all types of different sizes. Um, you can get them as small as like a Pro Fight glove, eight ounces all the way to, you know, they have 24 ounce gloves. Um, you know, they have uh, gloves from like Rival where they don't go by ounces, they go by actual uh, size, like a small, medium, uh, a, a large, extra large, so the, the concept of a women's glove, I just don't get it. I don't really think it's, it, it even makes sense to be honest with you. Yes, you can probably argue, okay, well, the colors are, are more designed for women, but again, who's to say what colors they do or don't like? That's completely subjective on what someone uh, likes when it comes to colorways. Some women might love the way rival gloves look or maybe love Clato Reyes gloves, right? Um, so again, I just feel that it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to me um, in terms of what makes this a woman's glove. To me, it's just a standard boxing glove in my opinion. Uh, may, yes, maybe it had, does have a sm little bit smaller of a hand compartment and a shorter cuff. But again, there's gloves out there that have short cuffs already. There's tie gloves that have very short cuffs. Uh, and there's gloves that have smaller hand compartments. So again, I'm just not too sure what the whole premise behind a woman's glove is. And I don't really agree with idea, that idea because I feel that boxing gloves in general are just unisex. I feel like boxing gloves are not gender specific. You don't make boxing gloves uh, for a certain gender. You just make boxing gloves so any human being can use them typically, right? So that, that's the whole concept behind that I didn't agree with. So to me, the concept of a woman's boxing glove doesn't really make sense. And this review will just basically break this glove down as it sits as a traditional boxing glove because that's really what it is in my opinion. So from a design standpoint, one thing you'll notice is that this glove is a kind of a stockier, wider glove. Kind of reminds me of more of like a tie style glove in that sense, in terms of the profile and size. It doesn't have a long cuff at all. It has a shorter cuff. It does have a wider kind of stockier uh, size to it. You do have that synthetic uh, leather outside casing that has a nice texture and grain to it. One of the, the nicer premium feeling um, synthetics out there. Sanibel does a really good job with their synthetics, I found, just like Rival does. So quality synthetic, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, you do have kind of this perforated uh, looking synthetic leather section right here that has a sandable as just part of their aesthetic design. Uh, three and a half inch Velcro strap with again the same perforated looking design with the sandable circle logo right here. Uh, gray piping, the gray right here, sandable written down vertically. Uh, cut, rotating over to the palm side it says fight for it, the sandable slogan. You also have more of that perforated leather on the Velcro strap. The inside is going to be kind of that nice smooth tricot liner. You have about an inch of medium density foam on the back of the wrist and a softer foam that lines up against the inside where your hand sits. Uh, I'd say about a half inch 
of firm density foam padding on both sides uh, that come up to right about here. You can see the stitching coming across where it stops as well as on this side as well. Gray piping, more gray of perforated right there on the inner thumb. And then you have kind of a, I wanna say maybe like a aqua bluish color when it comes to the blue that comes all the way on the palm. You'll notice that it is a complete mesh palm all the way through and a lot of you guys are not fans of mesh. Uh, one thing I'm not a big fan of with mesh is sometimes Velcro. Uh, I can't get the male side, but Velcro, the rough side of Velcro tends to stick and it'll rip the mesh up pretty quickly. So I'm not a big fan of the mesh. You also have that same design with the blue that kind of goes and contours around the thumb on the outer perimeter and around the fingertip compartment. It kind of comes down and around. So you have that aesthetic look as well. You do also have an attached thumb. The grip bar on here is actually a really nice size. It's larger and it does have a good firmness to it. So from an aesthetic, oh, and you also have uh, these rubberized sanable, uh, I guess you can call it like these little piping pieces that kind of go over, gives you a little extra touch right there. That's rubberized and, and, and the sanable logo is actually raised up on the rubber right there. Uh, so aesthetically, Speaking, that's how the gloves look from a design standpoint. It kind of has kind of like a, a techie look uh, to the glove. Quality wise, the gloves were pretty much on point with weight uh, at 14.1 ounces. Other than that, I'd say that the microfiber synthetic they use is really good. The craftsmanship uh, is decent. Um, there's areas where you can see the thumb meets the index finger that is starting to rip. I'm not a big fan of the mesh at all, just from, from durability. And you can also see that there's like this little bump on the thumb. On the right glove, it didn't have it, but you'll notice that there's this like little dimple sticking up from the foam um, on that thumb. The glove itself is a little bit on the top heavy side. And you can see there, just because there's so much weight distributed towards the front of the glove uh, and the wrist support is, I'd say decent, um, could definitely be better. I feel like they should put a little bit more of a rigid composition EVA or a, a thicker foam in the wrist area to really stabilize that. Uh, the, the actual stitching around the glove is decent. You can see the back of the wrist looks okay. Coming around to the Velcro strap, looks all right. You can see it kind of drops down a little bit on the back of the hinge point of the wrist. Coming around. Again, I showed you guys that's probably the biggest hair on that side. Inside liner is done nicely, but again, you can see kind of just some areas where the thread is kind of popping out. Probably could have been singed off a little bit better. You do have that elastic piece that keeps the palm together. And the stitching is kind of a little crooked on the thumb piping. So I'd say quality wise, average, especially because you have that rip right there. Uh, but I do like the fact that these, these gloves are on point with weight. Comfort wise, the first thing you'll notice is the thumb is very awkward. You close the Velcro strap. Uh, you'll notice that it's very flared out and the piping is very tight. So first off, the, the piping right here is tight around my thumb, so it cuts off circulation. And then secondly, I have no idea why they have a thumb that flares out that much. And it basically, you feel like your thumb is like that when, your hand, when, you're, when you're making a fist in that position. It should be pulled in. It just feels way too flared out. Uh, and again, I have medium sized hands, so I don't, I don't know what the idea of having the thumb that flared out. It definitely should be pulled in more uh, with these gloves. Also, when you pull down on your fingers to make a fist, you'll know that it kind of pulls a little bit on the thumb. And the fact that it's already kind of curved outwards like that, your thumb just jams right here in this section. Your, my thumb's not even right here. It's basically right like in this section of the glove or the thumb compartment. Um, the depth of the glove is good. I, I feel like it has a nice deep finger compartment and you also have this nice piece of neoprene that's pretty thick that covers the stitching right here and gives you like an extra uh, uh, grip bar to grip onto. So I definitely like that neoprene grip at the very bottom of the finger compartment. Nice width, not too narrow, not too wide so it doesn't feel like your hand scoots around. And that inside tricot liner is very smooth and comfortable. No areas with the material bunching up. But the big killer here is going to be the thumb. Wrist support feels decent um, for a Velcro glove. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, protection and performance, that's another good feature aside from the way the liner feels in this finger compartment is they use a multi-layer foam. I'm glad that they didn't go with like injected molded foam. So this actually gives you a good amount of protection and a decent amount of feedback as well when you're using this on the back. 
so regardless, if you're using this for heavy bag work, you decide to use this for the mitts. Um, I think this foam is, I'd say a little bit, a little bit past the middle, more into the protective end of a boxing glove. So, you know, if you have a very protective shock absorbing glove here, and then you have a puncher's horsehair glove, and then you have right in the middle, I'd say it's right over a little bit towards the protective side. And once it really breaks in, then that foam will start to soften up uh, quite a bit more to give you a little bit more pop and feedback that you're looking for. But I'd say that this is kind of balanced, but a little bit on the protective side uh, when it comes to the padding. Cost-wise, these gloves are $54.99. So if we round up, they're $55 uh, for these gloves. You know, from a price standpoint, that's not a huge, um, you know, price when it comes to boxing gloves. However, uh, I think you could definitely do better, especially if you pay, spend like ten, twenty dollars more, and get yourself something from Venom. Uh, if you're, if you know, if you're a female, if you're looking at this video or watching this, think, you know, thinking about these gloves, uh, don't get, you know, kind of put into that that state of mind of thinking that you have to get a glove like this. There's, you can get any glove you want out there. To be honest with you, boxing gloves are boxing gloves. Uh, so. I feel like there's gloves in the 20, you know, that 20, 30 dollars more, maybe in the 70, 80 dollar range from like Venom, like the Impacts, that to me are just a superior glove than these. Uh, I do like the foam on these. I like how comfortable the inside hand compartment is, minus the thumb. But there's just too, too many little flaws about these gloves, even at the price point, um, that I'm not a fan of with this glove. I mean, aesthetics, that's completely subjective. If you like the, the colorway and the scheme, that's completely up to you. I can't really comment on that. I'm, it, I think it looks decent. Um, it doesn't have too loud graphics on it. It has, again, kind of like a techy, kind of futuristic look to it. But at the price point, even at $55, I definitely think there's better choices out there at this price point. Uh, for for boxing gloves. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box. We can find these Sanibel Hyperstrike women's boxing gloves. See you guys later. Take care.